Welcome back to 20 Clinical Pearls in 20 Days. Today we're going to talk about why these broad spectrum vitamin and mineral lab panels, intracellular or plasmin serum, are just a total waste of time and money for patients and practitioners alike. Now you know what these panels are. They run all the vitamins, all the minerals, sometimes intracellular levels circulating, sometimes serum and plasma. But number one, micronutrient interactions are incredibly complex. Now let's just use magnesium as our surrogate, probably one of the best studied in conventional medicine and science minerals of all time. Here's one paper that says the biological variability, the differences in size of cells and composition, especially when people are ill, limits the usefulness of mononuclear blood cell magnesium as a clinical tool for assessment of body magnesium status. This is one of many papers. Here's just one more. This paper said serum levels of magnesium, circulating mononuclear cell levels of magnesium, and skeletal muscle biopsy are of little predictive value of assessing the status of myocardial heart magnesium in humans. That you can look at levels all that you want, but it doesn't mean that someone's sufficient in their body. Number two, inflammation and illness change the results. Let me ask you really quickly, who's going to the doctor? Who's seeking out a functional medicine practitioner or nutritionist? Usually people who might be inflamed or unwell. Well, it turns out that plasma iron, selenium, zinc, vitamin A, C, and D at least tend to fall in inflammation and copper levels tend to rise. Also, there's another paper that says that intracellular levels of magnesium go up during illness. That's going to skew the results. And lastly, all of these tests are unrecognized, unvalidated. There's no universal reference range. They all have their own methodology. They all make up their own range. And if that's not enough, just about every health insurance company has a paper on this saying that we've done a literature review on this and these are used for investigational purposes only. There's no clinical utility. There's no clinical validity. And if anybody says, well, health insurance companies don't want, they don't care about your health. I totally agree. They're a business. They want to make money and not waste money. That's why they have a whole bunch of screening tests in order to help them prevent spending all their money when someone gets more sick later on. If these things worked, they would use them. Bottom line, these catch-all panels for micronutrients, vitamin, mineral panels, they're a waste of time and money. More specifically, it can create a false sense of hope. It can create a false sense of worry. They're expensive. They're not validated at all. And it might even lead to you as a practitioner giving inappropriate interventions. Listen, if this stuff frustrates you, it frustrates me too, which is why I made our advanced mentorship program at metabolicfitnesspro.com. We teach this and so much more about all the myths and misconceptions in the industry from an evidence-based perspective so that you can have confidence in the lab tests that you are running on your patients and clients. I hope to see you there and God bless.